Well, they won't let me backstage, but they assure me it's in a state of controlled chaos, and they want to be out here, I can tell them. Well, now the girls are changing from their swimwear into their evening wear. It's a very quick change, but let's meet our 15 semi-finalists once again. Will you please welcome back our first 15, Miss Guam. <laughs> away from the sun, sand and glorious surf beaches of the Pacific, Kimberly was a little bit homesick at the beginning. She's travelled a good deal though as an international travel consultant and would like to work for an airline in public relations. She loves our English history, our kings and our queens and has been thrilled with London Town. Puerto Rico. Michelle's older sister persuaded her to enter the Miss Puerto Rico competition and now she's jolly glad she did. She's in the second year of her university studies in communication. She'd like to be a professional singer and if that doesn't work then she'll hopefully join an airline because she loves to travel. She has been longing to come to England and is fascinated by our accent. Gentlemen, Miss Bermuda. From the lovely island of Bermuda, the home of Miss World 1979, this year's Miss Bermuda, 70 year old Zena Mix. She would most like to meet Brezhnev, she says. She thinks he's charismatic and envies his control over people, but on the other hand, she wouldn't like to live in Russia. She's a very good cook and likes to prepare the traditional Sunday lunch of roast beef, but without the Yorkshire pudding. Miss United States of America. Brooke Alexander, 17 now, but at 15 she was actually taking part in the Miss Young International contest. Very much an outdoor lady a member of the Championship State Girls basketball team in 1977 and 78. But as she says, she loves all sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss India. 20 dress there for Anita Reddy from Bombay. She wants to be a versatile film actress. She's certainly versatile in her modelling work, fashion shows, photography, television and film commercials, including ones for shampoo, toothpaste and cigarettes that are curled, can't be seen smoking in India. She takes a good deal of interest in Indian dancing, classical and folk. on North Island. Her teaching capabilities are extensive. She's a student teacher in English and education, has a ballet school for four to fourteen year olds, and teaches nine year olds in Sunday school. Her father's a Maori, her mother's Welsh. Tel Aviv, where she's been continuing her studies. She's due in a month's time to go into the Israeli army for a couple of years. She intends, though, after that, to teach six to nine-year-olds. A green-fingered lady. Plants grow very well for her. Why shouldn't they? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Zimbabwe. She works as a reservations clerk with a large airline. This is the first time that she's visited London, although her mother was here for five years and has given her a list of all the things to try and see while she's over here. Now is modeling. A great girl 
well for the outdoors, particularly keen on sailing, which she's been doing since the age of seven around the archipelago. She wants to earn money from modelling more because she wants to study in the United States so she can do research into cancer. Please greet Miss Austria. Claudia Maria from Graz, about 120 miles south of Vienna, where in 1848 a distant grandparent, who was then mayor of Vienna, installed the street lighting. They'd already had three good days of snow in Graz before Sonia Maria left for here. She entered the Miss Austria contest because she wanted to win the first prize of a new car. Needless to say, she got it. Miss United Kingdom. for Kim being as smart as her face in Norway. She was Miss Wales in May and became Miss United Kingdom at the end of August. She's a fashion and photographic model and shows in the way she walks that she's had training in movement and dancing, all kinds of dancing, modern, ballet, mime, national, tap, Greek, the whole caboodle, she says. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jamaica. great tennis player is Michelle. She has played at Wimbledon and twice been nominated as Jamaica's Sportswoman of the Year. Her younger brother and sister are current all Jamaica champions. When Michelle started traveling, she realized the need for languages. Well, she graduated in May, a degree in Spanish and French, and wishes now to interpret at diplomatic level. to become Miss France. She was encouraged to enter by her grandmother, who judged correctly that it would be a good way to travel and to meet other people. Patricia lives in Paris and has high hopes of becoming an actress. She loves the couture clothes that she's been wearing here. Miss Venezuela. graduate of Bachelor of Science and Humanities, who now does a good deal of modelling. She hopes to get a scholarship to study architecture. Hilda thinks this is a good career for women because it requires sensitivity. And it tallies with her love of all beautiful things in life, including a love of romantic poetry. Miss Germany. A tremendous reception for Gabriella Brum, a student of costume design. She's very much interested in theatre and film and has acted in a number of amateur productions in Berlin. But before she came here from Miss World, she only knew our airport, which she passed through on her way to and from Los Angeles, where she's lived for six months. judges have been scribbling away they have now made that fatal choice of the uh, of the uh, final seven